Uh, Zip and Capizzoli with How to Tour Italy project. Uh, and today we are in the kitchen in our wonderful little apartment here in the center of Florence, and we're going to be cooking deep fried zucchini flowers. Now, why are we doing this? One, because it's going to tie in very nicely with a couple things that I think make coming to Italy wonderful, and that's going to tie in with the culture and having a lot of the fun with it. Uh, the main thing, though, I think the restaurants are wonderful here, the food is always fantastic. But I think to really dive in and have a taste of what living Italian really is, um, is to go to the market and, and dive in, have some fun, mingle with the locals, buy, buy your fruit and your food that you're going to cook for the day at the market, come back and prepare it for lunch. We've been doing that almost every single day with the exception of dinner here once in a while. We're going to lunch out and about, but for the most part, we go to the market, shop, come home and cook. And today we're going to cook deep fried zucchini flowers, one of my all time favorites. And you really can't do that when I cook my wine. You've got to have a little bit of wine. It is the afternoon. Even if I wasn't over in Italy, so if you start cooking at 10 in the morning, totally fine. We'll be there. So here are the, kind of the main staples of what we're going to be doing. One, we need the zucchini flowers. Two, wonderful buffalo mozzarella. That's just the kind of mozzarella you get at home that's already shredded in the bag and all dry. I'm talking about the real deal buffalo mozzarella in the water uh, that, that comes here, but actually from Campania, um, down by Naples. Now, if you want to try or go and visit where they actually make buffalo mozzarella, contact my buddy Giovanni at Benvenuto Limos. He has a wonderful tour. He takes you around, and one of the stops is at where they actually make buffalo mozzarella, so it's completely worth it. You can find out how to do that on howtoitaly.com. So, buffalo mozzarella. Then you need some anchovies, all right? You're going to need just a plain egg bath, a little bit of flour, and a plate to put the zucchini flowers after you stuff them. Roll them in the egg wash, drop them in the flour, and put them here. You gotta get the, the oil going, and I kind of pulled it off the stove here, so keep on, this isn't a cooking studio, we're gonna do the best we can here. <laughs> Bear with me, my back's going to the camera. So I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit, and not too much. There we go. And by the way, I've always loved deep fried zucchini flowers, but I went and interviewed Chef Claudio, um, who is part of the organization for the International Kitchen, and in his home, he prepared this dish for us, and I absolutely love it. I loved watching him do it, and I just kind of stole some ideas from him and decided to do it here for the video shoot itself for Hot Tour Italy. Uh, but going to work, uh, rather eating in Chef Claudio's house, through the International Kitchen is one of, one of the best experiences I've ever had here in Italy. So, uh, it's something you should truly look into. Karen does a great job of running the organization, and you can actually use a link on howtotoitaly.com to meet her. So, back to cooking. What we're gonna do, you take the, the zucchini flour, and sometimes it has these little tiny stems on them right there. So what you're gonna do is just pull them off, they're a little bit spiky, and remove them from the zucchini flour itself, which we're doing here, okay? And then, you open it up gently. You don't wanna pull too hard because you gotta keep the zucchini flour whole so that you can put the anchovies and the mozzarella. Now, uh, this is gonna require regular, like American style anchovies with the salt, and not the wonderful Italian ones that don't have any salt in there, they're, they're hot and oil, they're wonderful, and they're eaten raw. So, we're gonna open this up very gently, and we chopped up the, the, the anchovy to fit in here nicely, uh, and some of the buffalo mozzarella. So I take a little bit of mozzarella first, and I'm going to stuff it in, All the way down to the bottom, take a little bit of anchovy, same thing, to keep it open with one hand, and drop in the anchovies. Get a couple in here, not too many, but not too few, just right. And you can mess around with this, by the way, and decide what, what the good combination is. If you use a whole filet of anchovy, it does kind of overpower a little bit, I think. Um, so, that's what we're doing here, uh, a little bit more anchovy. And then I'm going to put a little bit of mozzarella just to top it off, just, just a little topper. Pop it in here, okay? So then the flowers kind of wrap around. We just stuff inside, they're all inside here. You roll it in the egg bath. Okay, and then you just then completely roll the flour, uh, rather the, the zucchini flour, in the flour here, uh, and get it dusted, and then just lay it on the plate. And that's it, that's all you have to do, and I'm going to show you how to fry it in a minute, so we're going to do a little like, kitchen camera magic here, we're going to cut video, I'm going to finish rolling and stuffing the rest of these wonderful things, and I'm going to show you what they look like in the fryer, so you can tell when they're done. Okay, so now we have kind of, we stuffed the, the zucchini flowers, 
roll them in the egg wash, roll them in the flour, and this is kind of the kind of the finished product before they go into the oil. And Chef Claudia will talk about very cool way to see if the oil is ready. Take a little pinch of flour and just drop it in there. And if it, if it looks like it's quickly um, it's frying, it's exactly right to go ahead and cook. Now, if you want to um, you know, use whatever method you want, but this is from a, a five-star chef here in Tuscany, and let me tell you, the guy is truly amazing. I think he cooked us a seven-course meal in around an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and it was one of the best meals of my entire life. So, going over the frying pan here, we're going to drop these bad boys in. And the only thing about it, actually, when you cook them uh, on one side and flip them over to the other, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. So you just take them and drop them into the oil. And remember, we got these fresh about, an, not even an hour ago, half an hour ago, from the market here in Rome, or rather in Florence, Sant'Ambrogio. And uh, through Hot Tour Italy, I'm setting up some tours, but you can go ahead and tour the wonderful markets here in Italy and take my word and uh, live La Bella Vita here by living as the Italians do, which is shopping in the markets. Uh, and there are people set up here to help you along the way so that you can take full advantage, even if you don't speak a word of Italian. So check this out. I love it. Let this thing pop in just a minute. I'm going to take my wine. You really can't cook without a little bit of wine, even though it is the afternoon. Let it go. And sometimes you'll see these that are really overcooked. I mean, not overcooked, but over, um, I guess, rolled in flour. I, I prefer them to be Less roll in the flour, if you will. Then more. So that's, that's about what I like to see right there. Um, this way you get the taste of the zucchini flour as opposed to too much stuffing. Now you might ask yourself, where are you going to find zucchini flowers in the States? You have to go to the Italian markets, the produce markets, they do have them. They're not too hard to grow. In fact, at hottestwoodland.com, you're going to have seeds available that you can just grow in your own garden to make these wonderful zucchini flowers at home. And then you have everything you need right in your garden, so it's even cheaper to do it that way. So these are literally about done. Um, I'm going to check on the other side just to see. Yes, they are. They don't take very long to cook. Just enough time to brown the outside, cook the entire the little flour that's been wrapped around it, uh, and melt down the cheese. So with that, we're going to cut here. I'm going to drop them into a little plate with, with uh, a little bit of paper towel to soak up the grease. And we're going to dine a wonderful lunch here, and then we're going to go explore the wonderful streets and museums of Florence. So with that, ciao. Thanks for watching. How to do Italy. Ciao.